everybody, welcome back. I believe it is day five of the Golden Goblet. Trackmania booted to a black screen temporarily, which is a little disconcerting. Yesterday we went a little insane. We, we played a little bit too long, but that's okay. Today, I believe we're on track 10. Let me, let me make sure that's correct as we go into summer 2020. Track 10. All right, I got my 15 minute timer roughly ready to go. One day I'm gonna learn how to use my smartphone, dude. I, I promise you that. Let's get a little preview of things first. Thank you for all the support on Trackmania, by the way. 15 minute timer, please. It's been a lot of fun. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea. All right, we're on. The box is locked, the lights are on, it's robot fighting time. Don't mind the glare on the right side of my face, which is actually the left side of my face IRL, but that's okay, okay, okay. It's a rare sunny day this summer in, in Vancouver, and is one of the top four drivers on one specific track. I believe it is my obligation to get a little vitamin D content. Apparently the window actually blocks the synthesis of the vitamin D, that's what I heard. The sunlight actually has to touch your, uh, your skin, but I don't know if that's true. Now that I think about it on like a physics level, that doesn't really make any sense. Okay, so we got a problem. We need to make it over this. Oh, you know what? You can you can course correct in the air. Oh my god. <laughs> what are we supposed to do on this one? Wait, do we go down here? Oh! I wonder if that's a shortcut. I wonder if that's a shortcut, or alternatively, if that's just where dreams go to die. This game's got both. It does both. I was here yesterday. Okay, good. I, I love the, the tarmac tracks, honestly. That was not a good line. But I love the tarmac tracks. Oh, we're on ice now. Because your traction is so high, you can basically just go full speed. Alright, the luge is always... A bit cumbersome, but if you can get right along the camber, you're usually okay. Obviously, this is not the lap uh, we want to stick with. But it could provide... Okay. <laughs> it could provide a reasonable baseline for what a terrible lap is, and then we can go from there. Is this the end? This is the end. Oh, and we're on ice again. Okay, so that's fine. You just keep your wheels pointed in the right direction. Smooth throttle. We got a bronze medal on that. Top 243 British Columbia. It's actually way better than I expected to start with. Alright, so then, you just get a little smoother off of this part right here. Much better. You hit the brakes slightly. Don't want to catch sand. We want to stay on dirt whenever possible. Now we got tarmac. When you're on tarmac, avoid airtime and let her rip. That's not a great line. We lost a lot of speed, but that's okay. Now we're on ice. On ice, point yourself in the right direction and smooth throttle. Point yourself in the right direction and smooth throttle. We're probably 13 seconds ahead of... Oh, 6 seconds ahead. But then you don't want to go too hard off of this one because you'll hit the top of that thing and slow yourself down. So then we're going to be on ice in just a second. We're going to aim for the Danish flag. The Danish flag is the one we want. Look at that. 12 seconds ahead. We are now at the top 158. Still on a bronze! Oh my god, I thought that was pretty good, quite frankly. Um, but that's okay, so you can cheat this corner a little bit. Just touch the brakes, just touch the brakes. Now, through here, we didn't have an amazing line last time. That's gonna cost us a little bit of time, but that's alright. We can learn to improve via our ghost. So on this one, we just want to get the maximum acceleration down here. We're gonna do a little inside-outside exit. A little inside-outside exit. We got some speed. We got some speed on that one. On ice, we handled the ice pretty well last time. Let's we'll see if we can do that again. We did... Oh, we lost a lot there. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We're, you, you know how I do. You know how I do it. We got an, a little algorithmic problem solving. You can cheat that corner. You just don't want to cheat it by too much. You know what I mean? You want to. You want one wheel to spend one iota of time off of it. I believe we can still have an acceptable lap here. That was not the smoothest approach but that's okay and then you just want to minimize air time we go outside inside not a great line it's a thin track okay this is good keep yourself pointed now just don't overcompensate and i didn't really think about the the divot there to be quite frank 
Oh, we, we got a little uh, counter steer, a little slidey slidey. Okay, a little slidey clume. Where are we at here? About five minutes in. This is not an easy course. That much is, is for certain. Good speed due to the minimized air time. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a chance. Stay on the curb. Bring it over. Minimize air time. Good downforce. Now here, a little bit of full bore would be nice. Much better than usual. Okay, we're on ice. Watch the divot. Didn't get screwed by the divot this time. Did oversteer a little bit into the big corner. Got about two seconds on my previous time. We're going to slow down, but not by as much as we slowed down last time. And we're going to point ourselves towards that Danish flag. And slightly correct when we touch the ground. <laughs> Alright, we cut 2.3 seconds off. Up to the top 120 in British Columbia, but we don't even see the Canadian rankings yet. Okay, now now that we got silver, it's all about getting this gold, obviously. That's not a good start. I think we can still recover. I mean, there's still lots of time for us to glean here. What's our major sticking point right now? If you'll allow me to pause my timer. We, sorry, we have a someone at the door with the window open. Is always a... An interesting time. I think he's just gonna leave though. Um, sorry, I'm I'm in a live esports environment. I'm in a live esports environment. I can't. We got we got live timers going off right now. Okay. Now we're four one hundredths of a second ahead. The anxiety has fueled me. We did lose a little bit there, but we can make it up. We did oversteer slightly on this last time. That's a little bit better. And then I think you can hit the throttle a little harder here. And then just lay off at the very end. Oh, that was pretty much perfect, dude. And then just straight on till Copenhagen. Cut seven one hundreds off. I don't know if that's going to be... Not quite enough to get to the top 100, but we're close. We're close. And considering that that was not a, a, a textbook lap to begin with... We can live with that. The iterative progress is coming to pass. Okay, good, 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 good. Nah, you don't want to touch the sand. Wheels touching the sand is going to slow us down, if only slightly. There you go. Now, that's a line. Touch the grass a little bit more than I would have liked, but I think that's better than usual. Maybe not. Okay, watch the curb. That's why it's painted yellow, because it's dangerous. Little... No, I would not say little oversteer. I would say that's perfect. Now, this is the danger zone. Because I, I don't know if you can pass your previous self here. I don't know. That was like two perfect runs. However, we are not pointed towards Copenhagen. <laughs> that, was, that was a top 100 time right there. There's a long way to go until we get back to the top four. But uh, we can still live with that. Okay, our personal best. It did pretty well there. But look at that. We're still in there. Quick little brake check. And we're hitting this. Oh, that's a decent line. No, it wasn't. We actually lost a little bit of time, but that's better. Okay, we're going to be a little bit up on the curb, which is very dangerous. Just a little ricochet and a little oversteer, but we're going to have more time going straight. There's no way we're touching our best time here. You, oh, you're going to clear it for sure. That's because our speed was lower. All right, we're at about nine minutes. Definitely, like, it, it should not be too hard for us to improve upon our lap time here. Okay, that's close. We, we, we skidded a little too much, but if we don't touch the sand, if we compensate here, should be okay. Quick little downhill brake check. Don't spend too much time on the grass. We don't want to be Patrick Stewart from the Ricky Gervais show extras. We stay off the grass. We respect the signage. Okay, pretty decent forward momentum. Kept the wheels pretty straight. Got a one second lead. Just lightly off the throttle. <clears throat> that was not perfect, but it was definitely good enough. We are uh, on a vector towards Copenhagen International Airport. 1.5 seconds taken off the time. Very good. Moves us up to the top 91 in this fair province. With a flag that looks like a sun on top of blue stripes. Now, can we? are we good enough to beat ourselves? Time will tell. Left wheels getting stuck in the sand. Not going to help you, but you know. 
I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got a better approach there. Quick brake check cost us some speed. But when you lose speed, you gain a little bit of handling. So I think we were, we were through that section like a freaking rocket, dude. Now we're a little slower, a little lighter on the RPMs through that section, I think, but... Now, we took a big risk on this one, and we're just going to smash right into the wall. I, I, I had a feeling it was spicy, but I went for it regardless. Okay, you keep those wheels straight, you keep those RPMs high. Three hundredths of a second ahead, but honestly, I'm not used to carrying that much speed into the, into the Dunlop Bridge. Good stuff. Okay, keep those RPMs high when you're in the air. You don't need to let off the throttle. We could have hit it a little harder through that corner, but you know what? It is what it is. The Apex Legend. And a little outside inside. Way too much time on the grass, and then we we hit a tree there, so... <laughs> Generally speaking, hitting a tree is, uh, is going to slow you down. Now that, I wouldn't recommend. Remember when we thought we had to go off that enormous uh, greenery? I still wonder if that's not a shortcut, but I'm not... Until we get the gold, I'm not pleased enough in this lap to, to try anything too funky. All right, leave it all out on the on the pitch. That's not good. That's actually horrible. So that probably cost us like a second and a half would be my guess. And it's still the effects are still percolating outwards. If you get insanely lucky, you might be able to recover some of that time. It's still good practice. So we let go. Hit the throttle. We're going to be like two seconds off. All right, we're at 12 minutes. I would still, I mean, not having a gold is, I wouldn't say unexcusable, but a disappointing performance. So we're going to just do what we can to get to that gold medal. And really, golds are not that hard. Oh, I, I just forgot what the track was there. Golds should not be that hard to come by. So I actually wonder if, like, we're not missing one big moment of possible correction. Like, this section seems okay to me. We're a little bit horizontal, but... Yeah, it's not going to be good enough. Um, I do wonder, though, if maybe... I mean, there's two ways that I see you could do this. One would be... Not that. <laughs> we got to be careful. The laps are long enough that we don't want to throw any runs away. One would be just give her right here. And see if that speeds you up. We, we, we save a half second on that. We probably give up some time when we have to hit the brakes at the bottom, but... We weren't a half second up on that one. Still a little bit of time back, though. Then here, just the direct point seems good. And that we really work on the outside-inside here. It was a much better performance than usual. Watch the shelf. That's okay. A little bit high on the camber. No! We were doing so well. Okay, but we, we again, we're making little algorithmic improvements bit by bit. Much smoother entry into the dirt section. Straight across vector. Hit the brakes. Little outside, inside. Way too much time on the grass, but I was going to say we still had a lead. <laughs> And then here, just initiate the turn a little early. We're going to go high on the camber. That's okay. The, the movement here is going to hurt us a lot. We played a conservative exit. And just come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Shave two one thousands of a second off. Probably a complete waste of time. Um, because we could have just started another lap that that had higher potential uh success rate there but that's okay so the, here we we still have room for improvement on the ghost you're seeing right here believe it or not now this is the room for improvement i feel like if we don't go so high on the camber oh we got way too much lateral movement there yeah that's huge okay so our alarm's going to go off pretty much any second now. We might be able to fit in a couple of laps. Depending on how long they last. Now that's good. Great speed on the exit. Keeping it going. Point yourself in the right direction. Outside, inside. 
pretty much just as bad as last time. Which means there's a chance. Now, don't point yourself that much into the turn. You'll go lower on the camber. Keep the wheels straight ahead. Look, we got a little slidey on our on our previous self. A little slidey. I think we gotta restart because and let me let me check my timer. 27 seconds. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this this one right here the last lap. I pause the timer. This will officially be the last lap. So string it all together. That was not a good start. I'll just level with you. We're gonna have to really dial in. Now that helps. Now that helps. You got ice. Just watch the shelf. Let the turn turn you. That's okay. We're gonna slide a little bit on the bottom. I think we could get caught. But I don't think we're gonna get caught. We're back on ice. And this will be a new best time. Exactly one second ahead of our previous time. That's clutch. So we stay on silver, but at least we move into the top 80. <laughs> For now, thanks for watching. That's a good course. I like that. Um, there's some real racing in there. All terrain, except grass, I think. Um, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, check out Dan and Mouse Perspectives. Hope we're doing okay in the Golden Goblin. I hope you're doing well watching as well. I'll see you next time. See ya!